With everything that is going on with Unity right now, I decided to try out Godot and see how the performance of it compares to Unity. Now, the results that I got from Godot was actually quite surprising. Recently, I did a video of comparing Visual Scripting, C Sharp, and ECS or Dots. And I was using this B scene that I've created. I started beekeeping this year, and bees were on my mind when I was creating that comparison. So that's why I used the bees. Now, I never used Godot or GDScript before, so everything that I was about to do was going to be completely new. But still, I was able to recreate the scene in 50 minutes in a completely new game engine to me. After I was done, I exported the project to make sure that build was separate, because I did that with Unity as well, and ran the test. So it looks like the default settings in Godot is also 60 frames per second when you publish the game. So I didn't change that. Unity has the same exact thing. So here I'm running the compiled version of it, and I'm starting with 100 Bs. So I'm going to increase the B count until we're going to see the FPS drop below 60. So at 3000, still at 60, so let's continue. At 5000, we're still at 60. At 6000, it starts to drop to 59. So after 6000, it started going down. Now, if we compare the results with what we have for Unity and C Sharp, so at 5000 Bs, with using C Sharp and Mono Behavior, we're running at around 45 frames per second. So that is lower than Godot, but running ECS in Unity at 10,000 Bs, we are really close to running 60 frames a second. So it does drop down to 53 sometimes, but on average, it looks like it's running 57. But in Godot at 10,000, we're getting mid 40s FPS. So that was a surprising result for me. I was impressed with the default performance. Again, I didn't change any settings to improve the performance of Godot. I just left it as it comes when you install it. And same with Unity. I have not modified anything there as well. Maybe there are changes that you could do in Unity to get the performance up or in Godot, but I was just comparing the default settings. Hopefully you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next one.